Hey, what's up YouTube? I just wanted to show you this uh, Cooler Master Half 932 that I got off of Craigslist for a case of beer. Guy gave it all to me. It was a full system and all he wanted was a case of beer. But that's another story. Um, if any of you guys know, the Half has this ugly I.O. panel. So I modded it. Put a couple double stack USB 3.0s and updated it. It used to have this big old nasty thing with USB 2.0 and eSATA and Firewire 400. It was nasty looking. So I went ahead and got one of these Silverstone deals and used it to put that together. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, take it apart in a second and show you guys what's underneath. Sweet. So here's the front of it. Just wanted to give you a little look at it before I take it off. It's not totally perfect, but it's close enough. This little panel is actually from a CD case. It was like thin enough to where it was almost flush with this and it was nice and flexible and easy to cut with a razor knife. So that worked out pretty good. Here's the piece underneath after I used that Silverstone USB 3.0 deal. This little piece right here is actually the metal chassis that the thing came in originally. I just kind of cut it up and uh, flattened it out right here to make it long enough to go to this point and then screwed it all in place where the old PCB was. This part right here, I actually like flipped it upside down or right side up because this is hanging on the ceiling it makes the USBs upside down. So I flipped this upside down and put like some little washers right here where those hold like the pegs, the little um, mounting pegs would have gone up inside of it and made it kind of lopsided. So I stop that by putting some washers and then I put like a little deal right here it's just a shallow screw into the rubber there was no you know wires or anything right there it was super shallow then I just double sided taped it to the front I used uh, the original oops sorry HD and um, power light and that one I sleeved to make it kind of look better. And that's about it. It was pretty easy. Except for the, the panel, I had to line it up. It's definitely not perfect, but it's close enough. The way I did that was here's all my screw ups right here. Here's a little leftover piece from the chassis. I kind of used that to make. Um, Pattern, the pattern on here. This is that CD stuff. It seems really f like too flexible and stuff, but once you glue it in and stuff, it's pretty solid. These were my first two screw ups. That's the old panel that I cut out that had all the old stuff in it. There's the little kind of brushed metal looking face plate from the original. The way I did it, I had to take some aluminum foil. Once that was mounted, I kind of put some aluminum foil over here and pushed it all out so I could see where everything was and use that to make the pattern a little bit more perfect. came out pretty good. This one's a little bit crooked, but it's kind of like the metal bent a little bit there too. I should straighten that out. Then I just used some standard epoxy to glue it in. That was my holes that I thought I was going to drill, but I decided to go over here. And all this is going to get painted, so a little bit of glue right there is not going to make a difference. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the paint yet. I might go like a grayish white with a digital ghost camo. That looks pretty sweet. This case is pretty old, too. The quality control um, stamp on the inside says 2009. That's pretty dirty, too. I haven't really cleaned it up. I just wanted to do this a little quick. IO deal. 
make it look a little better. I forgot to address what I had to do to the case to make room for that big old rubber USB deal. The other one's a pretty flat PCB. It's just kind of hanging there, so everything was kind of just sitting right here in this little area. Well, all this metal right here was in the way of that rubber deal. And so I basically just cut it all out. My Dremel broke halfway through it, so I had to resort to some uh, tin snips that I have. And it turned out pretty good, considering I used freaking snips for most of it and then filed it kind of up so I don't cut myself but I'll clean all that up a little better before I um, paint it and it didn't like mess with the you know rigidity of the case or anything it just had to be done I felt bad kind of cutting it up but I had to make room make room and then I kind of like push this down right here this edge I need to clean this up a little bit better before I paint it but the wires are also a lot thicker and they just were kind of causing the whole deal to you know have a little bit of crack right here on the edge so I push that down too but I'll clean it all up and then get the paint on anyways hope you guys like it